Well, this is my this is an update on my mower. I've really changed a few things, and it's considerably better better behaved than it used to be. Um, when I found out that you could actually add Lua scripting to your rover to modify its behavior, that was so cool. And, and I I did talk about an RTK beacon I made a few weeks ago, and all that was is just a little very bright LED I can see outside. And that way I know when I'm actually driving it around manually, establishing my waypoints, uh, I know I had an RTK lock. It was just an on, on the rover feedback um, for validity. And I've actually m modified that now. Um, when I was first learning Lua, I, I guess I'm still learning Lua, but there was a program out there called MinFix. I love that concept. What it was is that if you didn't have a minimum fix of RTK, the motor would stop. And I thought, that's a great thing to put on my mower, because my mower, before I had that, if I lost on my RTK lock, it would just try to do the best it could. It might, it might wander three or four feet one way or the other and get itself in trouble. It would be a bad mower. Um, so, bad robot. So anyway, I actually incorporated that concept into my electric mower, and man, I can't be happier. Here's a video of it right here. Now, I'll kind of explain it as I go along here. I've, the first thing, I got a couple switches here. Those are the um, safety switches. I have to flip them on, otherwise the mower will not start ever. All it is is just a safety override. A little jerky here. I'm actually trying to hold the camera and do all this too. Manual mode drives around perfectly, just what it did before. And like I said, the LED is not very bright. It's on, but the camera, this camera just doesn't pick it up. Now, what activates the rest of the program is the flipping it into auto. And when I flip it into auto, it heads out to the first waypoint to start mowing. Uh, I've actually increased the speed there. This is running at 300%. This is like watching paint dry, I think. Um, and what happens... Now, you can't hear it mowing, but it's actually went to the way first waypoint, started the mower up, started it, started the mission. Now, I've never had it drop RTK under trees, which is interesting. Uh, so what I'm doing here, I'm going to take this can off and set it right on top of the antenna. Now, what happened? The mower stopped mowing. The blade stopped. It switched it to manual mode, and it's going to wait right there until it reacquires the RTK. Okay, I took it off. There it goes. Um, on, uh, happily on his mission. Now, let me stop this here. The problem is, I found out, the reason I had to have this RTK lock feedback on the, on the, the rover is that I would just suddenly drop um, the RTK. No rhyme or reason. It could be close to the building, close, close to my transmitter, far away from the transmitter. It could be clear blue sky and still would just drop. It wasn't really the receiving problem. What it was is the end trip I found out. And I got it. the problem um, was my funky Wi-Fi in my shop. So before I get into that, if you want this Lewis script, I did post that to the um, forum. That's the autopilot forum there. Just search JT and HC. If I get around to it, I'll post it on my GitHub page. I have not done that yet. And if you can't find it anywhere, just drop me a line. I can get it to you. It's not that big, but it works extremely well. I'm very happy with it. So, this is my problem I was running into. Is that my shop Wi-Fi, and my shop is probably, you know, several hundred feet away from my house. And the only way to get internet signal here was through, uh, I put up a microwave bridge, okay? So what I had, I had the cable plugged in in my motor router in the house. Uh, it will actually then send it to a microwave. The microwave transceiver picks up the shop, and, and there I have another uh, router over here that provides Wi-Fi. Well, through this convoluted process, <laughs> uh, something is happening where I'm either losing packets or retransmitting or something. I know that my speed is down in the shop compared to internet speed compared to my house. My house does have fiber optic and I got a pretty new um, quality um, router there. This is the hand-me-down I have over here. But uh, my radio noise, SIK radio noise, is higher out in the shop than it is in my, on my porch. And when I'm using this to mow 
as the base of my shop, about every 30 to 45 minutes the signal gets dropped. And this is why I will walk back to, the, to this computer and all the colors are red, no, nothing, nothing uh, going in and nothing going out. And if I restart it again, um, it comes right back up. And since I got the RTK lock requirement now, when I restart it, I'll also, I'll also hear the motor and, and start mowing again because it's reacquired the signal. And I was just like, I couldn't understand what it was doing and why it was doing. And so I, for trying, I went ahead and took the computer off of here, took it off of my porch, which is then using the Wi-Fi of the house. It has never lost the signal. Never. It's just so much better. And it mows better. The GPS has higher accuracy on the home Wi-Fi than the shop Wi-Fi. I didn't think that was possible. It still said RTK. However, I think the signal was getting old. Uh, the data length of time to get from still processing. Eventually, I would lose it. But for a long time, it was just questionable before it would completely go red. So, and I, I did some experiments. I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit here too, where actually I set the mower up, had to go back and forth and hit the same place on a real small uh, waypoint radius. And it did, did much better on the home Wi-Fi than this shop Wi-Fi. So, what I did here, you, you, you have heard sound, let, me move, let me move me here for a second. Okay, up here you can see the point zero three. Okay, that's what I was. That's what I was moving this down to because I kept. This was working before, even on the shop Wi-Fi, it was still working. I would occasionally, you know, leave some grass. Sometimes it's because of the mower's fault. Sometimes, sometimes because of my my um, planning fault. But this is how I do it. I and mean, this is kind of old news to a lot of people on the forum. But if you're new to this, I drive it around manually. I establish these waypoints, um, and then I take it back to this wonderful program, this mission planner, autopilot. Congratulations and thank you for all the hard work everybody put into this program. Anyway, I process this from the, I, I make a polygon, it, it, model these dots here, then I can automatically fill in the mowing pattern with the survey grid. And the distance between lines up here, the point three, you know, it roughly translates, uh, translates to one foot. That's what I was getting down to. And that worked really well. It did most of the mowing correctly. But now I got this better Wi-Fi. Now it mows one foot, <laughs> which is insane. But uh, I was watching it the other day, and sure enough, the mowing was like one foot. My mower is a 20-inch, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start playing around and making this number increasing again because now it looks like I'm spending a little more time mowing than I have to. Yeah, I get a great yard, but it certainly takes a lot longer to mow. So let me get just back up here for a second. So that's been working good. I, I, I like the spiral from my little mower. The turning is a, kind of slow. I like the long runs it does. Um, so I still, like I said, leave some, and this was, this was my mistake here. This is the grid I had, and I just didn't really manipulate too much of this grid, but this little area right here corresponds, I think, to this area here in the middle a little bit, where I had some gaps between the waypoints. And what I found out, what I'm doing now, is that I'm actually, once I get this survey grid accepted, then go back, and I can go back to it and modify it and add some waypoints and move these things around. So, and then once you get it, you know, once you get this thing done, all you need to do is just re, uh, reload it to your, to your mower. And so what I've been doing, I got different sections of my yard um, with different maps set up. So I can just say, okay, I'm going to the side yard today or around the garden today. And um, this particular mow is a pretty good sized mow for my little 20 inch um, mower. But of course, since I've a, I've a able to gang more than one electric battery, uh, these 40 uh, volt batteries through these ideal diodes, this is probably an hour and a half mow to finish this spot. And I still got some battery left. Of course, what I'm using, I'm using a 12 amp hour battery and also then a five amp hour battery together. And boy, it's, it's, an, it's been working well. So that's this yard. Okay. Now this is my side yard, and um, this was 12 inches I had it set up for, and boy, it just 
did an excellent job here probably closer than i had to because even when i'm watching it about one third of the mower is not really cutting and it's only got the grass it's so i'm gonna have to re-establish it this is a mulching mower that's why no, there's no grass and stuff to pick up here and one of the things i find out what i'm doing since i just can set it and forget it um i'm mowing a little bit more often which is I'm supposed to be good for the grass anyway so my experiment okay this is my this is I, I just couldn't believe that just the quality of wi-fi would make a difference between the, with the quality of the gps uh, so i set up four flags out here these and you can't you can't really see the base of them but these are little survey flags and i bent them in i parked i got the way uh, waypoint established right there and i parked the mower right there i and from that waypoint, I built a small mission with only three waypoints. It just goes back and forth, back and forth, but it has to end up here. And when it gets to this point, to this point is a 45 second delay and it repeats the whole process. So on the shop Wi-Fi, I was zero out of five for returning exactly. And what I did, my waypoint um, radius, I had, set, I had this thing set to 0 0.05, I believe, really small. Because I wanted to make sure, because I have a project coming up, I need extremely good accurate on my waypoint finding. And it did perfect on my home Wi-Fi, or 4 out of 5. But the shop Wi-Fi, they were 2 to 5 inches away from where they should have been. It was just kind of wandering around. It was close, and it wasn't really spot on. Uh, and even though this spot is only about 100 feet from where I'm transmitting um, with my telemetry, it still dropped the RTK. I had that red screen again, had to restart again, start it back up again. So it's not the distance. It's actually um, the noise. It's actually um, the Wi-Fi, I do believe. So anyway, when I did the same pattern from my home, same emission on the home Wi-Fi, four out of five times, four times it was spot on within a half inch where, I mean, I had that wire half inch from the tire and that wire was half inch from the tire. I could not believe the accuracy. One time it was one inch ahead. So it was, it was like it didn't approach it fast. It must've been going quick and kind of coasted through the spot, but I don't know. I'm really happy with this one. So this has really changed how I appreciate this mower. I can go ahead and just let this thing run now. Um, turn it on, set it, and, and forget it. So that's my updates. I'm extremely happy. This has really um, become a useful device now instead of just something to um, work on. Anyway, if you can't find that Lua project or Lua script, uh, drop me a line. Other than that, I hope this helps.